Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you are having a wonderful day. And if you're worried about G Suite and how to use Google Classroom and Google Meet, well, this video is for you. All right, so let's begin. If your systems administrator gave you an email or a password to sign into G Suite, then you can do it like this. You enter your email address right here and then click next. Then you'll enter your password. Click next. Usually that password is a temporary password. So after you've done that, you will read the terms and conditions and then you'll click accept and you'll be prompted to change your password. So the new password that you'd have written down, please remember to write it down somewhere where you can remember it. All right. So once you do that, you should be seeing something looking like this. Now I'm using my laptop. So this is what it looks like on my laptop. All right. So let's look at Google Classroom. So you'll see all of these apps here, but we'll be focusing today on Google Classroom. So this one that says Classroom and Meet. So let me just click on Classroom so you can see what I'm talking about. So I've already created some classrooms for my classes. So here you can see for my 11th grade, I have a classroom, my 10th grade, my 7th graders, my 8th grade, my 9th graders, and so on. So you can see all of the classes that I have. Now, for this purpose, I'll be creating a demo class. So when you want to create a class, you see this plus sign here, you're going to click on it. You have two options. You can join a class. So if you were given a code by your teacher, then you would click join class. But as a teacher, you are creating a class. So we're going to click create class. We want to call this class. Let's see. Let's give it a name. Um, let's call it winners because we are all winners and the fact that you're here trying, then that means you are a winner. We can use winners or we could use growth mindset. All right, and we will give the section, you can leave that, but you put a subject. So I could put Spanish or English, psychology, whatever it is, and I put a room. So if I put online in this case, but if it was a face-to-face -face class and it was room 21, room 30, you can put it and then you click create so it's now creating your class so you'll see shortly the created class now after it has created your class and the stronger if you have stronger Wi-Fi that I'm using right now then yours would be created faster so now it's created and you see the name of the class is winners this is the class code all right, so if I wanted a student to join my class, it would be I-C-F-L-Y-L-Q. So I could copy this. I could send it to my students or share it in a WhatsApp group, however I want them to get the information. There's also the option of sending them an email. I'm going to show you that soon. All right, so now we are looking at stream. Now stream is, if I wanted to write something, it's almost like it's like social media. Um, once you post, you will see the, the most recent post at the top. So you got this. So if I wrote you got this, then my students would be able to see it. Another one I could say, keep going and that's encouragement for you don't give up keep going and thank you for sticking and staying with me so you see the one that i wrote first is here and then the most recent one would be at the top all right so that's stream now classwork now i can create a classwork so i click create i could create an assignment and i'd write my title uh, research and 
then the instructions I could let I could let them know I could decide if it's just some of my students all my students how much with the grade the due date what topic if I have a rubric which you should have um, then and I'm using loom to record this so I'll show you another video with that so that's why you're seeing this is right here all right so and you can do all of that then you assign so in this case I would click assign they weren't given a due date and then it's assigning so that's that you wait until that's done and then you'll see that they have a research and the time so that's classwork now people those would be the persons who are in my class because I just made this nobody's in the class so if I wanted to add a student I could do one of two things provide them with the number we saw earlier or I could type their name put an email and then it should pop up and I could send it to them so that's two ways in which I can invite my students to my class and then once I grade their work their assignments their research whatever it is then you would see so that's something that the teacher will see not the students so stream once again is like social media anything you want your students to see here you could post it you realize it says Simone Tibert posted a new assignment so as soon as they come on they can see all the happenings so that's it and for classwork again you create your classwork you can even create quiz as you can see an assignment quiz assignment question you can post your material you can even repost your reuse your post and again people um, in this case I'm the teacher but you can also add other teachers as collaborators so that's beautiful so you could you could be in Jamaica and add a teacher in Trinidad in Spain wherever and then your students would be here so you'd see their names and again you the teacher could see the grades so I'm gonna go back so there's something else I want to show you and I'm going to do that just now so if I go to dashboard go to Google classroom so what I want to show you is that from Google classroom I'm able to create a meet link so here's here is a class that I created for this which is called winners and you will see so it's loading my internet is a bit slow but it's still working um, so here we go so winners we would go into winners there you go and you, this is the class code remember I can either send my students uh, this code ICFLYLQ for them to join manually or I could send them an email for them to join when we went to people we saw that but here for Google meet I can generate a meet link now if I click generate meet link then it's gonna generate a meet link I can either click copy and copy it and share it with my students too in whatsapp on Instagram wherever or I can make it visible to my students so I can either turn it off so they can see it and I'll have to send it to them or I can make it visible and then I click save so once I click save it's gonna come right here so the class goes so once my students enter winners class then they'll see the class code and they will see the meet link because I made it visible to my students so here we go I click on this and then uh, it's getting ready and um, I turned off my camera but camera is starting and you would be able to start your class all right so it says no one else is here 
join now and you can pass, you can give them the code or you could they could see it right here and join all right so let me just take that off so that's one way that you could use google meet or you can just go to meet where you see the icon meet and set it up all right i hope that helped so that you are now able to create your google classrooms for your students and you once you go back it will still be there so all your classes will be there so you can see winners and all the other classes that i had before so i hope this helped you and thank you for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe have a wonderful day remember the only person that can stop you is you you're awesome keep going